Fifteen says the area of a trapezium EFGH shown below is sixty-six centimeters squared. What is the length of EF? Now, to solve this question, all you need to do is apply the formula for finding the area of a trapezium. Area will be half times sum of parallel sides as HG plus EF times the height. And our area is what? 66 is equal to 1 over 2 times our parallel side is 7 plus. Now, EF is not given and our height is um, 6. So from here, 2 here is 1. 2 into 6 would be 3. So this would be 66 is equal to, um, this would be 3 into 7 plus EF. Okay? So this means 66 would be, um, 3 times 7 is 21 plus 3EF. So this would be 66 minus 21 is equal to 3EF. So 6 minus 2 is 4, 6 minus 1 it's going to give us, um, that's 5 is equal to 3EF. So EF is going to be 45 divided by 3. And that's going to give us what? 15 cm. And as easy as that, you can attempt this question. So the correct answer is this. And I'm going to circle my... Oh, this is wrong. So the correct answer here, it's um, C. Okay, so we'll be going to the next question and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and watch out for more videos. It says um, a room measuring 10 meter long, 8 meter wide and 5 meter has all the walls painted. The door and windows occupy an area of 72 meters square. What was the total area of the wall that was painted? Now. In order to explain this question to you, I'm going to bring in the concept of um, a cuboid. Okay? Okay? Sorry. Now, there's something I want you to understand about this room. Okay, this is our room. Okay, now, notice, if this is your room, your room has a four-corner wall and is a rectangular room. Now, notice that it says it's measuring what? 10 meter long and 8 meter wide. So, I want you to know, we're going to bring out two types and it's measuring 5 meters high. So, we are going to bring out two rectangles. This is the longer part which is 5 meters, this is 5, and this is then 10 meters. Now, we are going to bring out the one that contains the width and the height. Okay, so this is uh, 8 meters, and the height is still what? 5 meters. Okay, so now, how do we get all the walls that were painted. Remember, they are going to paint all round. Now, recall that the areas of the windows across these rooms, let's say there are windows and there are doors, doors and windows. So the doors and the windows give an area of 72 meters square. So you need to know that this wall, we have this times two. There's a wall facing here and there's a one at the back. Then there's one here and there's also another one. So we're going to do the area of this will be 5 times 10 and this is what 50 meter square then the other area too the opposite one is still going to be 5 times 10 which is what 50 meter square so the two opposite walls will give you 50 plus 50 that will be 100 meter square now for this one the area will be 5 times 8 which will give us 40 meter square same thing applies to the opposite one, which will be 5 times 8, and that will give us 40 meters square. 
Then you are going to sum up 40 plus 40 to get what? 80 meter square. Now, having gotten this, the total area of the assuming there were no walls and window will be 100 plus 80, which will be what? 180 meter square. Now, when you subtract the area of occupied by the windows and the doors, that's 180 minus 72, you are going to get 108 meter square. Therefore, the correct answer here, it's going to be A. So, I'll mark my A. Now, as easy as that, you can solve that question. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow us. Question 17 says, a cylindrical container has a volume of 3,080 meter cube and a height of 20 meters. What is the diameter of the container? Now, in meters. Now, all you need to know is um, the volume of cylinder is pi r squared h. Now, if our volume is given as 3080, this will be what? 22 over 7 times the radius. Um, the radius is not given, so radius squared times our height is what? 20. So, we are going to solve for this. Now, all I need to do is um, cross multiply. This will be 30080 times 7 is equal to 22 times 20 times r squared. Therefore, r squared will be 3080 times 7 all divided by 22 times 20. Okay? So, if you break this down, first of all, um, if you break this down, you can do 0, cancel out 0. Now, 22 into here, it's 1. 22 into 308. Um, 22 into 30, it's um, 1. Now, remainder, we'll have um, 8 remainder, so that will be 4. So, 2 here, 1. 2 into 14 is 7. So, we're going to have R squared to be, what, 49. Therefore, R will be square root of 49, and that's, what, 7 meters. So, having gotten our radius... Diameter is radius times 2, and that's 7 times 2, and that will give me what? 14 meters. So my correct answer here is um, C. So I'll mark my C.